What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today we're talking about something I've talked about before and that's charging my Volkswagen ID4 using a Tesla wall connector as we have behind us, also known as a Tesla destination charger, but not a Tesla supercharger. Let me show you these adapters I've got. So if you watch my previous video about how to charge at hotels using Tesla destination chargers, I'll link that up above. You saw me use this adapter. This is a Electron 40 amp Tesla to J1772 adapter. And after Electron saw my video about this, they were actually kind enough to reach out and send me this. This is a 48 amp Tesla to J1772 adapter and it's a lot more compact. So what this does and how it works, let me show you, set down this one first. Simply hold the little latch here, plug in the Tesla connector just like that. Again, this does not work on Tesla superchargers, only AC level two Tesla wall connector destination chargers. So now we have this, it's ready to be plugged into my non-Tesla, in this case, my Volkswagen ID4. Just like that, it'll take a moment to communicate here and this will go green in just a couple seconds. We now see the power flowing behind us, hopefully. And we've got green here and let me just bring you into the car and I'll show you what that looks like on the screen of the car. And just like that, we're charging at 48 amps or up to 48 amps. That's the limitation of this car. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this particular Tesla wall connector is set to. They can be set as low as, I believe, 16 amps and all the way up to actually 80 amps on these older Gen 2 wall connectors. So let's compare these two adapters, the 40 amp and 48 amp electron adapters. So this is the 48 or 40 amp adapter that I've shown before. This one includes a little dust cap on the J1772 end. Has a short little cable section actually and then has the Tesla end down here with a nice little cap. Overall construction is pretty good. Uh, I actually have used this at higher than 40 amps and it's totally fine, doesn't get very hot, um, but it is technically only rated for 40 amps. And here, what we're talking about in today's video is the 48 amp adapter. So this is all in one. So you've got a little latch down here for the Tesla end. You've got your latch up here for the J1772 end. You actually do have a little padlock slot if you choose to use that so you could lock it into the car if for some reason you have a car that doesn't lock your J1772 port with the vehicle lock. Um, but overall, really compact. Uh, show you my phone for comparison. This is an iPhone 13 Pro. Definitely a nice little elegant solution to carry in your car. I believe this goes for about $150. I'll have a link down below. Um, but really this comes in handy. Right now we're at a restaurant that has Tesla charging and they have a 15 amp old Voltec J1772 station. But with the Tesla station, you can charge at much higher speeds. So hotels, restaurants, really any sort of destination, or even if you already own a Tesla and you're now getting a non-Tesla vehicle, you can use this to charge at home with your existing Tesla wall connector or Tesla mobile connector even. Let me know if you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. The like button, subscribe button. See you guys next time.